Okay, so I'm going to do a painting. A painting today. Um, I kind of have an idea. I don't know, so we shall see how it turns out. I kind of sketched it out with pastels, but yeah, I've been very busy lately, so I don't know. We're making it work. We're making it work. Um, for because um, I really love swiping at this guy, so I really want to go like the nails. Like this, like bleeding through kind of thing. So I don't know. Because I like to use many different cell activator colors too. So I will narrate this as I can talk. All right. Bada boom, bada boom. Okay, so I'll narrate sometimes, but because sometimes you can't hear me. So now we're gonna introduce the colors. Colors. Artist law. Violet. Artist Law. Ultramarine Blue. A weird mix of metallic violets and magenta. Artist Law. Okay, here now we have Deco Art Extreme Sheen Emerald. That needs to be mixed up a little bit, stirred up. <laughs> now we have Deco Art Extreme Sheen 14 Karat Gold, which definitely needs to be stirred up. <laughs> Now that's a pretty good consistency. Like you want it to, to be stringy kind of, where, where it creates a little mold, but then it blends right back into the rest of the paint. It's like, cool. Okay. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna go to Deco Art Extreme Sheen Copper, mixed with a little bit of Liquitex Fluorescent Red. Copper ate most of it, but it's still kind of cool. Lightened it up a little. I like it. Okay, so those are my colors. Now we're gonna get to putting this paint on the canvas, but first comes the lovely pillow. Okay, so now, just thinking about what I'm gonna do for everything. Um, but yeah, the reason why I can't talk when I'm recording is because I don't wanna wake up my kids. So yeah, here we go, pillow time. And what I use for my pillow is Glendon Premium Base One in Satin mixed with Floetrol. But I did just recently try a new base recipe type thing where it's my own concoction with Valspar Reserve a little bit, Floetrol American, um, and Creative Inspirations Gloss Varnish and Polymer. And you know what, I really, oh yeah, it mixed with Amsterdam paints and some metallic paints, and I really liked it. I wanna keep trying to perfect that one, cause sometimes this like house paint Glendon stuff is just like a lot. I mean, granted, I do use house paint in my pouring medium, hence Valspar Reserve, but it's a little different. It's not like you're like slabbing it on, you know? Um, yeah. Here we go, this is my typical pillow. Glendon Premium Base One in Satin.
Okay, now we're adding the Artist Loft Magenta. And I just realized I said those were all my colors I introduced earlier. They're not, because now I have to introduce, once I'm done doing this part, I'm gonna introduce my neons, my favorite. Okay, and now my neons, my favorites, favorites. So that one I was just holding was um, this little Piggy Pigment Inferno. This one is Liquitex Neon Fluorescent Yellow. And this one is Deco Art Neon Blue. And, and, and anything else? I don't know. Oh, yes, duh. My, this little piggy pigments hustle, my new one. It is the fluorescent magenta pinkish color. It's really cool. And my other favorite, uh, Folk Arts um, Black Light Neon Purple. And I just realized that blue is actually Folk Art as well, not Deco Art. My bad. Oh, and these are my interferences from this little piggy pigments. I love them. That one was glisten. Oh, this one's glisten. The one before was twinkle. And sequins. So I have sequins, twinkle, and glisten. They look like nothing when they're mixed up. They look like just white clearness. But when you get to painting with them, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Look at that, how beautiful Inferno is. Oh, so good. All right, here we go. All right, and look at that. That's my, the Inferno from This Little Piggy Pigments is just my favorite. I love it. And my other absolute favorite, because it's really hard to find a good fluorescent purple. Um, I really liked Arteza, Arteza. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Theirs is awesome, but honestly, like, it's hard to get theirs. And I've only tried it in the one that's already pouring, made for pouring. So I like Folk Art. It's great. Oh yeah, and here comes this little piggy pigments hustle, my new one. It's this like fluorescent crazy pink magenta. Super cool. Especially with the folk art neon purple. Looks cool together. These are like my colors, my jam. But I do have to start mixing it up. I've been doing these colors a little too much lately, but I mean they're so fun. I'm gonna switch it up soon. And now it's time for the cell activators. So that one is um, Amsterdam turquoise green. That's Amsterdam titanium white. Amsterdam oxide black, all mixed with Australian Floetrol. And then I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do a palette knife swipe with the cell activators. And then I'm gonna layer on uh, my interferences to give this cool effect, especially the sequins, cause it reacts really cool with black. All right, here we go.
All right, now we're busting out the black, oxide black Amsterdam cell activator. Um, yeah, oxide black from Amsterdam is my favorite. Really, all Amsterdam paints are my favorite when it comes to a cell activator, but black, man, oof, can't go wrong. But, uh, you know, I just need to start using a, a dark pillow, you know, dark base, because the white will pop too. But I love the black. So here we go again. Okay, I'm still going away. Still going at it. Swipe, swipe, swipe a million, trillion, billion times. I get a little obsessive, but uh, you know, I just love the swipe. I'm addicted to it. And I barely spun this one. I did, I tilted it a lot, and then I slowly, slowly spun as I was messing with it, adding little textures and adding definition with the turquoise green cell activator yeah I like it it's different it's weird it's crazy as I as I like it but I am gonna start switching up the colors though I'm switching it up switching up something I always like to I get on one kick and then I'm ready for I do a lot of them that are pretty similar and then I, I usually like hit like a stale point like what am I gonna do next what am I gonna like I need to get excited again so I'm trying to figure out that um, what's going to get me excited again. So definitely getting new paints and new colors and trying to pillow out that new pillow recipe. So I'll do more videos with that one. And yeah, I think I'm pretty much close to being done here. I'm just going to put some finishing touches on. And done. And now it's time for the reveal. See how it turned out. 
it is crazy. I like it. Um, I like parts of it. Some parts, not so much, but what I like about it is the canvas size. It, like, kind of makes me feel like I have a Wonder Woman shield. Um, but yeah, that's how it turned out. That's it all nice and dry. Definitely very shiny. Definitely a lot going on. Um, and now I'm going to show you my silly TikTok. <laughs>